Finding that perfect gift for a synth lover or music producer is difficult. It's hard to know what us nerds really want. Okay, it's not that difficult. We, we just want something like this, or this, or this one, or maybe this. But we also have to be realistic. Those things are super expensive and no one will buy them for us as a gift. So therefore, every single year I make a synth and music production gift guide in the hopes that it will help you find that perfect gift for a family member, a friend, or a partner, or maybe just for yourself. And this year I have a bunch of great picks from mini synthesizers to books to utility stuff to cable management, it's all in there. So I hope you enjoyed the show and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and leave a little comment what your favorite gift is. My first synth gift suggestion this year is this tiny semi-modular little synthesizer called the Bastel Castle Arp. And what makes it a particularly good gift is not that it's this super useful synthesizer that you can use in any song or for any style of music. Instead, it's a peculiar specialist. It's something that does something different. And it's just a lot of fun to sit down and program it, even though not everything will end up in any songs. And I think that that is the sort of thing you should give someone for Christmas, because you want something that is just fun. Every year I recommend books. So I picked up these two books by Ashley Hewitt. If you or your friend or family member is a true beginner when it comes to synths, I think that this book here is actually a good buy. Maybe you need to read up on what LFOs are. You know, this book got you covered when it comes to the basics, but if you are a more seasoned synth user, there isn't a lot here to learn. This book, however, The Music Producer's Guide to Polymeter and Polyrhythms, is actually very interesting. And reading the book was made even more fun when I realized that, that there are very funny British terms for different note values. Quava. Semiquaver, demi semiquaver, hemi demi semiquaver. I mean, it sounds like I'm, I'm casting a spell. But regardless, this book I found was actually quite an interesting read. Now, I will say the books are quite boring in terms of layout. The author could have done a lot more to spice things up a bit, but they are a good read. And I definitely recommend, especially this one. Another fun and also somewhat unexpected gift, and also not that expensive, is a kalimba. Now, certain models have an audio output, so you can actually connect it to your audio interface, for example, and record it, and then process it through, for example, different effects. So why not run it through your pedals? You just need some way to give it a bit of gain, and it's actually quite fun, even though I can't play it for shit. The next gift is something that I've never talked about, I think, ever on my channel, but it's something that I think makes for an excellent synth gift. It's primarily an excellent gift because you can find it in various configurations and also at various price points. And that is a pedal board. So what is a pedal board? Well, it can be described as a quite overpriced piece of uh, metal. But it's also a really useful thing for anyone who has a lot of pedals for guitars and synths. And what you do is you put Velcro on it and then you put Velcro on your pedals and they stick to the pedal board. They also come in different sizes, so you don't have to get a big one like this. There's multiple different brands that you can pick from. This one is a pedal train that I bought and that's pretty much it. And yes, I know that I recommend this every single year, but a synth brush is probably one of the most inexpensive but also useful little gifts that you can give someone. I mean, I'm definitely not saying that we synth nerds are just letting our gear sit there and collect the dust. Absolutely not. And you don't have to buy this Befaco synth brush, even though, of course, you know, if it's a synth brush, it will brush your synths even better. You can buy basically any high quality brush and it's useful. Now, all gifts doesn't have to cost money. One really good gift is giving your time and attention. So simply giving somebody 
say a day where you spend time with them in the studio listening to their music you don't have to really do anything i think a lot of us just want some company and somebody to care about what we're doing especially if you're a parent taking the time to truly sit down and enjoy and try and just appreciate what it is your child is doing musically would be a great gift so that's something that you can give and it's totally free Next up, we have some mini synths, and these ones are from Kreischer. I actually reviewed them recently, but they've come up with uh, some updated versions since then, and I wanted to take another look. So this little gadget is actually very peculiar. So this is actually a USB Type-C over here to, uh, let me see if we can get it in there, to gate and CV. So it's for connecting a computer to say a Eurorack or semi-modular synthesizer. Now, secondly, we have an updated version to the mini filter that I reviewed. So this is an MS-20 analog filter. It's a mono filter. You can turn it on and off with this button here. You have cutoff control, you have resonance control, but you also have low pass and high pass. So it's switchable. <laughs> We have power, we have CV control over the cutoff, and we have the mono output and the mono input over here. And then we have this little mini synth here, the Kreischer Micro Quad, which is a four oscillator synthesizer with individual tuning per oscillator. On the back we have power, we have the output, and we also have an addition of CV control over the pitch, which is just super useful, makes it a lot better than previous version that I tested. Lastly, we have this beautiful little synthesizer here. It's an analog synthesizer, monophonic. We have tuning here. We have different waveforms. We have output level here, and we also have pulse width modulation. And in terms of I.O. we have power, we have the output, we have the gate here, there's a switch if you want to turn gate on and off. And you also have CV control for tuning and there's also fine tuning. This is actually a quite cute little synthesizer and all of the Kreischer products can be bought either pre-assembled or you can buy them as DIY kits. Now if you buy them as a DIY kit, some of them require soldering, so make sure that the person that you gift them to actually knows how to solder, or you could simply buy them some soldering equipment and yeah, force them to learn how to solder, which, which may or may not be a great idea. Now in pretty much every Synth Gifts episode that I ever made, and I've made them for a few years now, I've showcased some Synth stands, and that's because they are inexpensive and also really useful gifts. So this year I have stands from two brands that I want to showcase. First up we have some stands here from KV Gear and I see now that I actually need to brush the synths. Now from what I know KV Gear is actually the brand that started making stands that look like this and have this sort of telescoping uh, rod here in the middle that you can fasten so you can turn the stand into whatever length you need and there are actually rods with different lengths. There's also a bunch of different sizes. So this one here works well for something the size of a Minilog, for example. And it also has this function here where you can actually adjust the, the length here of this little stopping thingy. You can also put trays on the metal trays. So if you want, for example, to put multiple pieces of gear on it. And the stands are actually pretty robust. They don't move much when I apply force to them. Overall sits very well on the table and I think it's in part due to the nice kind of rubber feet that they have. Now a little disclaimer here, I don't know exactly where you can purchase KV gear stands and I think that that's a problem, but I do think that they're available in the US and also in the UK. Maybe I should have read some instructions first, so don't view this as a tutorial on how to do it. So we put in the screws here. I mean, then look at this thing, it looks pretty beautiful. So we could put a little digitact here at the bottom and we can put this IK Multimedia synth here 
at the top shelf. Now, from what I gather, the KV Gear stands is a whole ecosystem. So just go and check them out and, and send them an email if you're unsure what to get. Now, I don't get anything if you buy something from KV Gear. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. But I do think that the stands are very nice. And also with other stands manufacturers copying this particular design, uh, it's nice to support the originators of the idea. So yeah, go and check them out. Next up, we're gonna talk cable management and don't click off. Cable management might sound super unsexy and uninteresting and, and not a fun gift, but I promise you, cable management stuff is something that's quite boring to buy yourself, but could be uh, quite fun to get as a gift. First up are these rig slap cable management tools, which basically slaps onto things. Okay, so here I have a thicker leg from a tripod and I've just slapped this on and it holds up the cable really nicely. Now, if you want something a little bit more conventional, we got straps like this. Insert it, make a little loop and then fasten. And then I found these ones, I guess it's some sort of loop. And I think this is how you use it. You put this on the cable, nice like this, and then you put it around something and there's a little uh, latch yeah, which secures the cable tie. Sits really tight actually. And lastly, you can go with something like this, just a typical strap. And I think that the plus side of a strap is that you can use it on really thick things like say a leg of a table, which the other ones won't just work that well with. And I personally like these ones the most because they're different. I haven't seen anything like it before. Now the second stand I wanted to showcase has come all the way from UK and my friend Mike over at Synths and Wood UK. And I know that with the current economy being what it is, small manufacturers like Mike are actually struggling to get by. So if you're gonna buy a gift from someone, uh, not only look at the big stores, but go to like independent uh, manufacturers like Mike for example. So if you don't know the Roland Compacts or like these really small synthesizers that also make for excellent gifts for somebody for Christmas. And since there's multiple Roland Compacts to choose from, Mike set out to make a three tier stand for them. Thing that is a little bit different with Simpson wood stand is that they're meant to fasten the gear so it sits tightly snugly and this can of course be a pro and a con depending on what you want but it definitely makes for an elegant stand so Mike has stands for a bunch of different gear have a look at his website to see if there's anything there that might fit your friend family member partner or who am I kidding? Yourself. And we slot this one in here and we tighten all the screws. So there we have it, a beautiful little stand for the Roland Compact, definitely worth checking out. And also we have it in a different color, this kind of black or very dark gray. Another great gift comes from today's sponsor, DistroKid. So if you have a friend, family member or partner, or perhaps you yourself, want to release your music and distribute it to iTunes, Tidal, Spotify and other online services, then DistroKid is just a really affordable option to doing so. You pay about $22 a year to upload your music to all relevant stores and streaming services. And DistroKid also offers a bunch of other interesting features, for example, mastering of your tracks. So it's an automatic mastering service and you can also use something called hyperfollow. Now hyperfollow is a really slick and simple function. Basically when you upload your music, DistroKid creates a custom page with all the links to uh, the relevant stores and streaming services where your music can be found. You don't have to do it manually yourself. If you go and check out DistroKid using my link in the description, you not only support the channel, but you also get a discount. Another gift that always works is cables. And this year I have some modular cables here from Modular SynthLab. They supported my channel with a bunch of cables for my big Eurac rig. I went with red and white. And the simple reason why cables is such a good gift is because cables are actually quite expensive and we already spend a lot of money on our synths and music gear. So if you have a friend or family member who makes music, produces music or plays with synths, then buying them some cables will be appreciated. Now, I didn't know about these, but these are actually quite funny. So let me show you here. These are key dogs 
The text says, don't use a matchbook, knife or masking tape. A key dog obediently sits on a synth organ or electric piano key for as long as you want. And yeah, that's basically it. You put it down on a key and it holds the chord or key for you. And I think that this definitely makes for a fun, but also a little quirky and humorous gift. Next up, I want to unbox and show you something that I don't think everyone has in their studio, but could actually use. And it's also something that you can definitely find under a hundred bucks. I think this one is like 50 bucks, uh, 60 bucks or something. And this is a passive monitor controller. And the whole idea with a monitor controller is that it sits on your desk and it gives you control with a main volume knob over the level of the speakers. You can have multiple sources connected to it and it can go out to two different speaker pairs. So not only does it let you control the level, it also lets you switch between different sources and also different monitor pairs. Another fun gift is going to Superboot. So you could give somebody tickets to Superboot, you could plan a whole trip with them to Superboot. It's this big synth event in Berlin. So of course, you know, depends on where in the world you are. But if you're somewhere in Europe, I think it should be doable. So planning out a trip to Superboot is an excellent gift. So those were all the gift ideas that I have for you this year, but be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section of the video about a gift that you think is a really good gift for a synth lover or a music producer. Maybe it's something that you got as a gift or maybe something that you've given someone else. Leave a comment and I hope to see you in the next video.